Hi, this is Jim Kopseff. In this video, we're going to look at depreciation allowance with the mid-month convention. For this presentation, we're using ProAPOD's real estate calculator because it includes the definitions and formulas for the calculations, so it makes it very easy to learn and teach the concepts. I've already logged in and opened the appropriate calculator, so let's dig in. As you may know, the IRS allows investors to depreciate rental property as a write-off for each month that the property is owned for any full year. In other words, if you acquire a rental property in 2009 and own it throughout 2010, then you get a full 12 months of depreciation allowance for 2010. However, they use what is called mid-month convention for both the acquisition year and disposal or resale year. In this case you can only take one half of the depreciation in whatever month the property is uh, put into service and likewise whatever month it is disposed. For example, if you acquire a rental property in January under the mid-month convention the depreciation would be calculated as though the asset were in service for 11 and a half months of the year. The same is true for the sale year. Even if you dispose of the property on December 31st, you only get half of December, so you can only take 11 and a half months of depreciation for that year. Okay, let's run a scenario to show you how the convention works. Let's say that you're buying a property, rental property, so it would be an acquisition. You plan to put it into service in June. The property type is residential. We'll see that this happens to be a duplex, so it's classified as residential. If it were an office building or a shopping center, then it would be classified as non-residential or commercial. The property value is $300,000. and the percent depreciable is 70 percent. What this means is that 70 percent of the property value is attributable to improvements because you can't depreciate land. Okay, let's make the calculation. Okay, so everything is laid out here. It's an acquisition take place in the month of June. The useful life is 27 and a half years. Now useful life is specified by the tax code. As of now, if it's a residential property, it's 27 and a half years. And if it's a non-residential or commercial property, then it's 39 years. The depreciable months are six and a half. Remember, we can only take half of June. The property value is 300000 The percent depreciable is 70%. So our depreciable basis is $210,000. We take that times the depreciation percentage, which is issued by the IRS. And so in this case, we have $4,137. In other words, based on this scenario, when you acquire this duplex, you can expect to get a depreciation allowance of $4,137. And that's it. Remember, mid-month convention applies only to the acquisition year and the disposal or resale year. And what it says is that the mid-month convention allows only one half of the depreciation normally allowed in whatever month the asset is placed into service and likewise whatever month it is disposed. Thank you for watching. See you next time.